Hi all, this video will walk you through finding all 9 jelly cats for the 9 afterlives achievement. Of the 8 jelly cats in the outdoor zone of Maltraxis, 7 are easily found. The 8th is up a tree and requires a tricky jumping sequence to get to. We'll show you how to solve this jumping puzzle, plus a special trick if you're having a hard time sticking the landing. The final jelly cat is found near the end of the plague fault dungeon. I've provided a route to get the cats as fast as possible, but you can pet them in any order. Puss and Boots Starting from the Theater of Pain Flight Point in Maldraxxus, start your circuit with Puss and Boots just to the south. Though its marker shows it on the bridge, it is directly under it. You'll have to take one of the ramps to the side of the bridge, then under, and you'll find it hanging out in its own little section. Mouse over the kitty, then click on it to give it a pet. You will get a 5 minute debuff that has no effect other than covering you in slime. Snots Next, head west to catch the road leading up to Snots. When you get to the Bone Archway, you'll find it chilling on a crate enjoying a meal of fish bones. You know, like slime cats do. Give it a pet. Meowmalade Meowmalade isn't far. Head back down the road and take the left fork, then take the first side road on the right. That brings you to this area called the Spearhead. The jelly cat is to the left behind the two-headed beast sitting in a box. Give it a pet. Moldstopheles This next cat by far is the most difficult to get close to. From Meowmalade, head back to the Theater of Pain and then take the North Road. You'll see some zombie guards on the left. Turn there and go through the tunnel to the other side. Then look up and to your right. You'll see him sitting on a mushroom outgrowth on the side of a tree. To get to him, you should first circle around to the base of the tree where you will see a path leading up to a dead end. At the dead end, between the wall and the tree, there's just enough space for you to get through. From there, jump onto the first mushroom, then the second. Now here's where things get tricky. It takes a very specific jump to get to the last mushroom, where Moldstopheles is staring down at you, waiting for you to fail repeatedly. You have to aim exactly for this vine outcropping here. Too much to the left, and you will hit your head on the underside of the mushroom. Too much to the right, and you won't land on the vine. Take as many jumps as necessary. Once you land on the vine, you can then turn and walk next to Moldstopheles. Give it a pet. If you hate jumping puzzles with a burning passion like I do, there is a trick to bypassing this particular part of the challenge. If you have pledged yourself to the Venthyr Covenant, you have the signature ability Door of Shadows that lets you teleport a short distance. Activate the ability, place your landing point next to Moldstopheles, and voila! Through the power of dark sorcery, you can now pet the moldy kitty. Lime Next, head back through the tunnel and north again on the road. You'll come across two bone archways. Sitting at the top of the second one, very likely knocking everything to the ground, is Lime. He is actually very easy to get to. Circle around to the back of the archway base on the left, then run all the way up to the cat. Give it a pet. Mayhem. Head down to the road and continue north. You will see a broken down bone building in the distance. The marker for Mayhem shows him to the left side of this building, but you want to run into the courtyard to the right where Gorgantus the gutter is hanging out. Once there, look to your immediate left and you will see a pathway among the rubble that leads directly up to Mayhem. Give it a pet. Mr. Jigglesworth. From Mayhem, head southeast and then loop up through the House of Rituals. When you get to this courtyard, face northwest and you'll see a path up to the mountains to the right. Run up there where you'll find Mr. Jigglesworth. Wait until he cycles close to you and give it a pet. Envy. Now head out of the House of Rituals and into this toxic swamp. After running through the swamp, take the first right, which will lead you to, uh, whatever happened here. Make nice with the kitty and give it a pet. Hairball. Enter the Plaguefall Dungeon, and after the third boss is killed, jump down into the lower part where the last boss awaits. Hairball is behind you and to the west from where you landed. Give it a pet. That's it. You have now completed the 9 Afterlives achievement. Note that because this video was recorded during beta, completing this achievement does not yet grant you a jelly cat of your own. If that changes, we'll list it below in the description. If you need all the coordinates to find the 9 jelly cats, those are also in the description. We want to give our site patron Felony a big shout out for finding all the cats that made this video possible. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more WoW videos and more from the Blizzard Watch team.